Avengers, are you ready for a marvelous day at sea? We are taking you with us to show you everything Disney has to offer on the Disney Dreams Marvel Day at Sea. Let's go. Today we are going to show you all of the characters, the snacks, the dining, and the entertainment that comes along with Disney's Marvel Day at Sea. That way you can see what you should spend your time on the next time you find yourself on a Disney cruise. Remember though, Marvel Day at Sea is not offered on all Disney cruises, so be sure to check the itinerary before booking if this is something that's important to you. It's available on select five-night cruises from Miami to the Bahamas and the Western Caribbean, and frankly, we're pretty excited about this. Most cruises also have a pirate night. Uh, you can actually see that in our best day ever Disney Cruise Line video. But because of that, we get two specialty nights here while we're on board. There are also other themed cruises such as Pixar Day at Sea, Star Wars Day at Sea, the Very Merry Time Cruises, Halloween on the High Seas. And if you're curious about those, you can see some of the must-dos of the Disney Cruise Line with Quincy over on the channel. All right, it is Marvel Day at Sea. So what else did we do? Call up Ollie's style because we had to dress the part for today. And for me, I had to go with my original love, Captain America. But my BFF, we had to be a, t a pair, right? Also, Bucky. Bucky's my favorite in general, so we're really vibing today. We are really vibing today. This was like a really natural pair. We suggested things to each other and it just happened to match. I love that for us. So it is 8.30, we are here for our first hero encounter, our HBO encounter. Now some of these you do need to book. Thank you Disney for doing that for us in advance. We are so excited to be here and we can see Iron Man and Spider-Man. This is huge. This is huge. Alright, so our first encounter is here in D Lounge. And that right there is Iron Man. And then behind this pole back here is Spider-Man. I'm so excited. I'm a Spider-Man girl till I die. If you haven't seen our California Adventure video, our best day there, you should definitely go check it out because I'm in love with this man. Hello, hey Spidey, how's it going? Hi. Fantastic, Thank you, thank you. Give me a Captain America vibe here. Yeah, just a little bit. Probably you actually, but I've already done a you costume previously. Yeah, I'll keep it between us. Yeah, Yeah. perfect. Um, well, there's a lot of superheroes here today, so uh, if you guys see any bad guys, suspicious or anything like that, please report it back to us. You guys are on vacation, okay? This is our job. So you guys just let them know we got you covered. Uh, also, I've been told to invite as many people as I want, and you guys look awesome. So, uh, tonight at 10.15, there's a Star Trek Expo on the top deck. Okay, I gotta know. How's your day going? Really great right now. Fantastic. I mean, yeah. how could it not be? We're hanging out. Exactly. You're the first thing we get to see this morning. Okay, so I'm upgrading my armor. Mm -hmm. Should I add a nanoparticle detector or a mini blender for smoothies? Uh, blender for blender smoothies. Blender for smoothies. Yeah. And as my technical advisor, that would be your recommendation? Yeah. Probably. Well, that was the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah. Iron Man sounded just like Tony Stark. It was crazy. And he asked us some pretty good questions. I mean, everybody loves a good smoothie, yeah. and he needs one yeah. probably mid-flight, so. Yeah. And I did tell Spider-Man that he was my favorite, because he is. But he did advise me not to tell Captain America that, which I think was probably pretty good advice. So, thanks, buddy. All right, so we made our way down to the atrium, because immediately following Spider-Man and, er, Spider and Iron Man, Miss Marvel is down here. She's back there and I can see her. Miss Marvel. So we have been in line. Fry actually ended up leaving to go meet Shuri. Um, but I've been in line since about 8.45 and it's 9.35 right now. So if that's something that you're uh, not prepared for as long lines, maybe kind of consider that and plug that into your day plan. Because it will take a while to meet these more popular characters. Hi. Hello. How's it going? I'm amazing. You look amazing. So Thank you. of course All the whole fit. To my Ami, she did a great job. They're beautiful. She it's beautiful. Me. Comfy shoes. Of course, you need the comfy shoes for hero saving. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm feeling like, you know, see Captain Marvel in the distance. Okay. We prove that we've got everything under control. You love that? We get matching suits. Oh, that's perfect. As soon as you're done today, we can get that started. I like that. I like that. Thank you so much. I also really love yours. Thank you. I'm a Captain America fan, so I had to dress up.
Okay, so while fry waits, that last line really got me. So we're grabbing a, one of the Marvel JSC coffees. I grabbed the Captain Marvel mocha ice and fry is going to do the Captain Marvel hot. All right, so I came up to Cove Cafe here. Um, this is the 18 and up only bar and then coffee shop here in the adult section. This is the Captain Marvel mocha that I got both of us even though they put black candor on it. It is the Captain Marvel mocha. And this is a white chocolate and kind of coconut espresso drink. I'm pretty excited. I got myself an ice one and I got Fry a hot one. And traditionally it comes with a Captain Marvel symbol, but the waiter surprised me today and gave me Black Panther. Oh, that's the tracksuit mafia from Hawkeye. You guys remember that? There they go. Wow. So I gave Fry her coffee. <laughs> I'm trying mine. I think I just saw Ant-Man and the Wasp up here in the atrium or in the atrium so i'm gonna go in and see them while she meets shang chi honestly there have been so many characters out today it's i think impossible to see them all so far but we're gonna try even if we have to split up okay spoiler we didn't get to see him <laughs> they are patrolling for bugs mm -hmm. and they're not really an official meet and greet so it wasn't in the app i was in line for shang chi she just saw him saw him come out and i texted him i said emma we have to get this we did it because they're busy looking for bugs thank goodness there's none on the ship mm -hmm. but they're just triple checking so we're gonna figure out where we're headed next and hopefully we can see them again later Another thing that we have noticed very early on, as soon as we walked out of our room this morning, even in the hallways, they are playing Marvel music all day long. All of the scores, all of the theme songs, everything. It's super cool, and honestly, it's getting us ready. It's getting us excited for the day. It's got our blood pumping. We were ready to go, ready to meet all these fun characters. So that's a fun, extra special little touch that it's going to happen all day long. So it really is Marvel Day to see. Also, one thing to note, all these character experiences, so far, a lot of them are happening only in the morning. So far in the app, it looks like it's, things are going to calm down after about 3.30 in the afternoon. A lot of these encounters are in 15 minute increments. So you really need to pick your absolute favorites must do's because I think Emma already said it, I'm gonna say it again, it is impossible to do everything on this ship. We are trying to meet every character at least. Emma and I are having to split up for a lot of this video in order to do that. Hi. Hi. <laughs> All my friends are in there. Oh, gotcha, yes. gotcha. Well, yes. <laughs> we gotta do some training together sometime, yes, right? Yes, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you could teach me a thing or two. Oh, well, I know you could teach me something. Oh, yeah, sure. we'll, we'll trade, yes. right? Yeah, yes. yeah, training buddies. Okay. Okay. <laughs> awesome, good. awesome. Hello, hi, good to see you. Good to see you, too. I like you. Thank you. I had to dress for the occasion. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Get all charged up and ready to go today. Yes, of course. Hey, so it has been pretty crazy. There is so much to do here on Marvel Day see I cannot stress enough that I think you should definitely try to gather your priorities before the day of just because there's so much to do and it's a lot of it's at the same time so right now I'm gonna head and show you some of the movies they're playing and some of the shows and Fry is in line to meet Captain Marvel and hopefully I will be back with her in time to see Captain Marvel I will also say the Captain Marvel white chocolate mocha it's pretty good I think it's normal mocha I wouldn't necessarily go out of your way to get this unless you just want the uh, the Marvel look but not half bad and not overly sweet all right so we finally made it up to deck 11 this is where you're gonna be able to find things like Donald's pool and even the aqueduct is just uh, on deck 12 so all day long they are going to be playing some different Marvel shows and Marvel movies I'm pretty excited I know for a fact they're playing different episodes of WandaVision which is my personal favorite Disney Plus Marvel show um, and they're gonna be playing brand new movies like Ant-Man and the Wasp and Wakanda forever over in the theater the Lake Buena Vista theater so definitely make sure you're checking it out. I think there's no better way to spend your day in the sun than to be watching Marvel in the middle of the ocean. Okay, so after checking out uh, the movies on deck, which right now they're kind of in between movies, but I realized it was about 10.45 and that means we're 15 minutes away from the Warriors of Wakanda show, which I really want to see. So I made my way down to the atrium and we're hanging out here. You can see that they have lots of kids kind of having their own seats so they can see really well and they have a rope out so that way the warriors can do their performance. Okay so there is about 10 minutes until showtime and the atrium is really getting packed. If your kiddos want a good seat for this I definitely recommend getting here up to 15 minutes early maybe 15 20 if you want a seat right behind the rope because even the balconies have started to fill up which is crazy.
that was so cool. That was awesome. She was a wonderful Dora Milaje. And frankly, I have to admit, it really reminded me a lot of the show from Avengers Campus. It was just one instead of a group. But she was wonderful. It was so cool. And everybody in the atrium was really excited. And I just felt like there was a really good energy. So I'm really glad I got to see that today. Okay, so if you were not able to shop for your Marvel Cruise just before you came, don't stress. Because over at Mickey's Main Sales, they do have a Marvel Day at Sea section here in the back. So you can grab some Captain America ears just like I have on, some t-shirts, or even a costume or two. Another really fun and cool thing that they do for Marvel Day at Sea is the Little Hero Dash. So it's a race from the start to finish to see which baby has the greatest superpower of speed. So think Dash from The Incredibles. All of the crawling babies on board are invited to join and compete in this race, and that's just frankly adorable. We have a lot going on today, so I'm not sure that we'll get to see the babies crawling, but this is where it happens right here in the atrium. So another thing that if you aren't maybe the most up to date on your Marvel information, but you want to learn more about it, you can come to this Marvel Origins class. So it's 80 years of history all about Marvel and where they started and where they're at now. It's pretty much a long presentation about Marvel history, but frankly, I think that's really cool. It is a 30 minute class and you can watch it here in the Buena Vista Theater. All right, so right here in the Buena Vista Theater, this is where Marvel Origins is. There's multiple show times today. Uh, 11.30 is the last one though, so make sure you're checking that in your Navigator app if you do want to watch this. Uh, this particular cruise, they end pretty early. But if you miss it, don't worry, there's still stuff happening in Buena Vista Theater. This is where they're also gonna show Black Widow, Shang-Chi, and Spider-Man No Way Home, and Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. So they have Marvel movies playing all day here as well, not just on the upper deck. Which also, in the district, they have Marvel the trivia. Of the Galaxy Volume 2, and the options were A, Miss Millie Chinchilla, B, Triangle Face Monkey, C, Trash And Canada, it looks pretty popular. Now, there is a lot of special food and drinks all around the ship all day today. Tonight at dinner, we will have a full Marvel menu at our rotational dining, which we will check out later. But we've got an Iron Man, Spider-Man cupcakes at Penelope's. There's other treats, including a Baby Group marshmallow stick. There's a Marvel cookie sandwich and a Captain America brownie. I know Emma really wants to check that one out. So after we meet all these characters, we're going to have to go find all of the good snacks. They also have Animation Academy in one of the lounges. This is like the ones that you will find in the Disney World parks. They are going to teach you how to draw a Marvel character. It's super fun. A fun free souvenir you can take home with you. Be sure and check times in the app to tell you when and where to go for that. We don't have time to do it unfortunately because we are trying to meet all of these characters. It's about 30 minutes so factor that in for your day. But it's super fun. I love doing this at Disney World so I wish we could do this right now. So of course an absolute must do for us is meeting Captain America, Steve Rogers and Sam Wilson because they are both Captain America. Um, but they're one of the more popular characters here on the ship. So we are here about 30 minutes before the first Captain America meet and greet happens for us today. This is uh, Steve Rogers, and the line is 1500. So definitely, just like Miss Marvel, like I talked about earlier, if you want to meet these characters, you probably want to come quite a bit before, especially the more popular ones. Um, this is probably going to take a little while, but this is what we care about. This is what we're excited about for this cruise. So character lines it is. Okay, we are one hour into our wait, and we are almost done. And I have my Becky. What's your name? Hey, nice to meet you. What's your name? Emma. Nice to meet you. You guys having a good day? Yes. Yeah, awesome. What have you been up to? Um, just meeting more heroes and oh, meeting go. some stuff. Who have you met so far? Lots of people. We've met lots of people. We met Captain Marvel, oh, okay. Shang-Chi, Shang -Chi, Shuri, oh, nice. Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel, yeah. You guys have been all over. That's awesome. Have, have, you met, have, have you met Sam Wilson yet? No. no, but he's on our list. Okay, well, Obviously. good that he's on your list. You see him. Can you tell him I said on your left? Yes. All right, awesome. I appreciate that, friends. We just met actual real life Steve Rogers, and it was crazy. But now it's time for another hero encounter because it's, we have so much to do. Okay, so we made it in just in time for our uh, meet and greet for the Guardians. Guardians. And we think it'll be. Oh my God! It's great! It's great! Oh, he's so tall. He's huge. Where I'm. You're gonna look so small. I want to this is the back. best day ever. Okay, for our next one, we are here in Animator's Palette, and they have actually changed some of the screens to mix in with Marvel Day at Sea. You can see Sam Wilson's Captain America up on the screen right now, and we know that the Asgard meet and greet is here as well. So it's pretty cool to say that you get to go meet characters inside of a restaurant. Hi, how's it going? We're pretty excited to see you guys today. Yeah, you are on camera. <laughs> 
Ooh. We'll nix that part out. We can cut that. Yeah. Absolutely. You are professionals. <laughs> Perfect. Nice. Nice. Okay. It's almost time. We've been in line. It's 1.42. His meet and greet started. Technically, we started at 1.30. We got here around 1. And up there, talking to a small person is Sam Wilson, Captain America. I'm so excited. Bucky is so excited. Hello. How are you ladies doing today? Doing well. We're really excited to see you. Oh, I'm just doing well. I like your ears. Thank you. We Have hope. Have you through any multiverses today? Maybe just yes. a few. We actually saw Steve. Oh, so you did? Yeah, we got to see him and he said to tell you on your left. Hey, good that he's on your left. See him. Can you tell him I said on your left? I bet he did. <laughs> he did. Nice. Okay, so we just got to meet Captain America Sam Wilson. It was amazing. He was amazing. He was. He also gave us some good advice. We were going to keep our eyes peeled. We kind of get nervous about this expo thing. Uh, yeah. But it'll be fine. It'll be fine. But apparently the tracksuit mafia has taken over the diaper we, dash. We've seen him a few times. I'm not surprised. Okay, so we have about, honestly, 10 to 15 minutes where we are going to stop here in Cabanas. And we grabbed a quick lunch. And then we're going to head on to another really cool show. This one is actually new from Marvel Day at Sea. So we're pretty excited. And if you're a Doctor Strange fan, you're going to want to watch this part. We do have a show to see, but then we found these Marvel Day at Sea desserts. So I got the Iron Man brownie. Oh, that's what dropped it. And then you got? I got the Pim chocolate fancy word. It wasn't mousse. Interesting. Yeah, I think it's steep. 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 Let's give them a try. Cheese. Mine is just frosting. Like buttercream frosting, but it's good. Mine is delicious. It is a super gooey, soft, chewy brownie with a little bit of icing on top. Very sweet. And both of these are available at Cabanas if you're here during lunch. All right, so we are back here at the Walt Disney Theater and we are here to see The Strange Academy, a spellbinding spectacular. This is where a graduation ceremony goes horribly wrong as Doctor Strange and the Sorcerer Supreme Wong and his students face off against the fabulously wicked Agatha Harkness. Very excited for this. Let's take a look at some of our favorite memories from the past few years. It's a good time to sit down and chill and still have a normal day at sea. Yes. Okay, so we're passing the Dora Milaje on our way to our next hero encounter that we have booked. This one is one I've been waiting for personally. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so that's what we do. Talk to your eyes or the other eyes? Uh, we'll take whatever's comfortable whatever's for you. Comfortable for yeah. Here. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. How's well, it going today? Good. You both are dressed in enough green. Yeah, you know, I mistook the day. That's on me. Missed the day. Missed yeah, the day. missed the day. Wrong There's day. There's only certain days we're allowed to wear green, apparently. Yeah. Well, we just met the love of my life, and I'm embarrassed because I didn't wear green. I know. I feel like a clown. I can't lie to you, but... Yeah. Like, stuff that just came over me. We yeah. walked up to him, and I was like, I don't know how to speak. I was speechless. <laughs> That's... <laughs> That was awesome. We were speechless. I just tripped. I'm that. I'm tripped every single time we walk through this hallway. Yes. Loki, I love you. There's nothing much more to say. Hello. How are you today? How are you all today? We're doing good. good. Yeah. I appreciate you coming through. Of course. We're happy to be here. Of course. We actually got to see your sister earlier. So yeah, it's been a great day. Well, for the most part, yeah. Yeah. Yes, I don't know she was talking about the trust for the suit. Yes. yes. I told her she needs to do the suit. Yeah. Absolutely. But she's only tinkering around with all of her technology. That's fair. That's yeah. fair. Okay, for our next stop for Marvel Day at Sea, we are going to be stopping in Vanellope Sweets and Treats. This is one of the sweet ice cream shops that is on board that has lots of different sweets and treats. And luckily for us, it has some Marvel Day specialties. All right, so apparently Fry got pulled into the character contest while I ran up here to get us some treats. So good luck to Fry. And luckily, whether she wins or loses, I have a nice little dessert for her. So first we got the Iron Man cupcake. It's a vanilla sponge cake with vanilla frosting. So for us plain Janes out there, then I also got us the Baby Groot Marshmallow Stick, and that is all it is. Baby Groot, and it's a marshmallow stick that's covered in chocolate with some uh, little decorations on top. Let's give them a try. This cupcake is huge, and they actually gave us little tiny spoons to try to eat it, because 
it's just massive. So I'm gonna get a bite and I'm gonna taste this. I also cut it in half so that way Fry can have her half as well. Not bad. Honestly, it's not my favorite. The cake isn't um, dry per se, but it's also not super moist. The icing is interesting. It's just plain icing. Yeah, it's just plain uh, vanilla cream icing. It's not my favorite. I would not recommend going out of your way to purchase this. I think that the free desserts that were at Cabana's at lunch were much better than this, but it's still pretty and takes a cute picture. All right, group marshmallow stick. It's pretty good actually, not half bad. It is just a marshmallow that has been dipped in milk chocolate with some Oreo crumbles here on the bottom, but it's pretty good. The toppings are like a like crunchy uh, chocolate balls and then a jello almost, like a jelly. I don't understand. It's overall very sweet, pretty good, pretty simple. If you love marshmallows, sure try it. But uh, I still think that brownie from lunch, it takes the cake for me. It's still, nothing has beaten that. And it was free. like rapid fire and then Disney was like you have 10 minutes see who you can meet we met all of them I don't know how we did it it was crazy it was insane it was the fastest 10 minutes of my life <laughs> comic vault as you can see we have uh more than 100 comics loaded on these iPads. it's really really fun we have the comics from all the characters and all the universes so you basically get the tablet you can get a coffee take a seat and enjoy your reading it's really fun we keep seeing the tracksuit mafia we've ran into them i've ran into them four times today it's a lot i really i they're so funny i should go back to the room and get some cash they do keep asking um they keep telling us the characters have been canceled, so he said T'Challa has feline fever, and he won't be here. But they are, and we can cash up them, sell them, Venmo, anything, $10 for their picture. And that's just very funny to me. Well, what do you do after that, that you're killing time for dinner? You grab the Quantumanium drink. So this is supposed to come in the Quantumanium sipper that you actually can get over in Disneyland at Avengers Campus, but we're not much sipper people, so we just got the drink instead here at Bomb Voyage um, Bar. All right, Quantumanium drink. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> she was checking out the movie, yeah, I'm sorry. Listen, I'm the movie girl at home, okay? Gotta see the movie. I knew there was ice cream in it, but it's so thick. It's almost like a milkshake, like a mango milkshake. It's so sweet, it's very creamy. I like it. I don't necessarily think I would be like, you have to get this, but if you like mango and pineapple and you want something like a sweet drink that's non-alcoholic, I think this would be a really good option. All right, and then it's time for dinner. So here we are, we are at Enchanted Garden tonight for our Marvel themed dinner. And that is part of the rotational dining here. We did not get to eat their normal menu because we went to Palo, but be excited. Look at the menus. This is so cool. Show them the kid menu. Kid menu. They even let us see the kid menu just because we wanted to see it. All right, for our first bread of the evening, we have marbled bread and then it comes with a red pepper dip. Pretty excited for this one. All right. Thoughts? 
It's good. Obviously it tastes like red peppers. Mm -hmm. I've had it before on the Wish, so it's nothing special. But it's it's nice, it's different from what we had last night, so I like it. Yeah, I really like it. I love red bell peppers though. It has that nice savory flavor. It's really salty, but I also think very creamy. And I loved the one that we had at Animator's House. But this one, all right, so we both got the rum mocha drink. It is cold brew, chocolate rum, and Kahlua. Cheers. I like that a lot. I was a little bit surprised by that. I didn't think I would like it very much, but none of the other drinks really seem to be calling to me. It's heavy on that cold brew flavor, but I appreciate that. Yes. It popped out to me at first because I was like, ooh, cold brew coffee, I need it. Um, but it tastes really, really good. Yeah, 10 out of 10. Okay, it's time for appetizers, and I got the crispy fried Maryland crab cake with remoulade sauce and slaw. And then I got the Wakandan Piri Piri, which is cilantro, ginger, and chili marinade chicken with papaya coconut salsa. Woohoo! Okay, now it's time for the main entrees of the night. I got the rosemary roasted beef tenderloin. It is carved and served with a puree, crispy parsnips, buttered asparagus, roasted shallots, and a truffle cabernet juice. I'm very excited about this. And then I got the roasted pork tenderloin huntsman. It's with, with fondant potato, buttered collard greens, and a forest mushroom, and cognac sour cream ragu. Yum, here we go. All right, cheers. I absolutely love mine. The meat is cooked really well. It is a medium uh, cooked beef tenderloin. It's it's good beef tenderloin. It's not overwhelmingly uh, special, but what I do love is the celery puree that comes with it. It's so different and very unique to anything that I personally have had. Really, really like that. Mine is also very good. Pork tenderloin cooked very nicely. Um, it's chewy. I enjoy that. I think the best part is the sour cream ragu. That's a nice little flavoring. The potato, I do enjoy. I wish it had a little bit more butter, but that's because I'm from the South and I like butter. <laughs> so, but also strong mushroom flavoring. So if you don't like mushroom, you're not gonna like this. Yeah. Mine overall, I feel like is pretty normal. Not your most exciting dish. I think pretty basic flavors, but I do love the puree. So I had it as well. That puree is good. It, is, it looks like mashed potatoes but it tastes like celery. It's amazing. For our final edition of the evening, we got the Southern Nights Signature Dessert. It is a cheesecake with a pecan crust. Uh, it does look pretty normal, pretty plain, but I think it'll be good. And unfortunately, Brian had to leave me to catch a show. So it's just me. Yeah. At dinner time, it is a normal cheesecake, a normal vanilla cheesecake. Um, the salted caramel sauce, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more of it, but the pecan crust is interesting. Not my favorite. I probably would recommend trying something different or maybe a little bit more on theme, but this was the signature dish, so we had to try it. Ready? We can't waste it. We have to we eat it. We have to eat it. It's Marvel Day. 
So another cool thing at Marvel Day at Sea is they even play some of the famous Marvel Disney Plus shows. For example, this is the very first episode of the Hawkeye show that was on Disney Plus, and that right there is little Kate Bishop. It's been a crazy last hour. Mm -hmm. Some stuff happened, but before we break it down, we did get the specialty day of drinks. So I got the Smash. This is the alcoholic drink. It is basically juice that is watermelon and pineapple mixed together with some pineapple Ciroc. And then I got the non-alcoholic specialty drink of the day. It's called the Mark 7. And it's basically a fruit smoothie. It's got mango, strawberry, coconut, and pineapple. Cheers. Fruity, sweet fruit juice. And you can get these at almost every single bar here on the ship. Just ask them, the cast members will tell you if you can get it there or they'll direct you to the right place. So, what happened in the atrium, you might ask? A lot. A lot happened. So we had kind of heard this like rumor, hey, be there around 7.45, something might happen. So we were just checking it out. Eventually, see Black Panther, King T'Challa. He just waves keeps going. I think, well, that's cool. And then, and then I show up. I literally run into Kate Bishop. For a second, I thought I was a girl dressed up for fun, like a cruise girl, like me. And it's like, oh, you look fabulous. But it was really Kate Bishop. So yeah. Hanging out. So then, all of a sudden, Thor and the mighty Thor and Peter Parker and Loki mm -hmm. and Doctor Strange mm -hmm. and then Gamora and then Groot, Star-Lord, then Hawkeye, Black Widow, Ant Captain Man, Marvel, Ant-Man, The Wasp, mm -hmm. Shang-Chi, Sam Wilson, Sam Wilson Miss Marvel. Ms. Mar I mean, in the end, I believe we counted 16 Avengers just hanging out in one room. In one room. All right, we are coming up on the end of our night, so that means it is time for Heroes Unite. This is a nighttime fireworks show where Iron Man has personally invited us to attend a really special presentation of his time-bending multiverse device. But because it's Iron Man, I mean, things are gonna go wrong, right? Most likely. But there's plenty of heroes on board, which you and I have personally found out. So I'm not that worried about it, but I bet it's gonna be a show. In just a few minutes, Tony Stark will reveal the Stark Expo's latest in technological advancements. We look forward to welcoming you into the future. Oh, Dad, I had a party for you. You just enjoy yourselves. And don't worry about a thing, because it looks like smooth sailing.
okay, now that fireworks has ended, there is actually something for the grown-ups in the group. And we're gonna head down to the Evolution Club here, and we're gonna check out the Ravagers Club. And if you know anything about the Ravagers, it's probably gonna get pretty crazy. Okay, so here is Evolution. This is actually the one of the bars of the 18 and up uh, areas here on the ship. During the day, they'd use it for family activities, and we have used it for meet and greets in our Marvel Day at Sea. But for now, we're gonna go see the Ravagers Club. But we were hanging out and a Ravager came in and told us we need to turn it up. So we're gonna turn it up, I guess. We gotta turn it up. Thank goodness for her. And just like that, we have completed our Marvel Day at Sea. How do you feel? Honestly, I mean I knew this was gonna be fun, but it very much exceeded my <laughs> expectations. Yeah, this was amazing. The amount of characters, like, I know that this is the biggest, you know, gathering of any Marvel superheroes and villains anywhere, land or sea, but I still was crazy impressed even knowing that coming in. It was so much fun. And of course, like, we really love the characters because we can't see any of these characters going to Walt Disney World. The only place you can see them in America right now is currently at Avengers Campus over in Disneyland. We don't really have access to that all the time. So this was extra exciting for us. Even as like a very casual Marvel fan, I enjoyed the movies. I will go see them. I don't know every single thing there is to know about Marvel. It's still super fun and exciting. And I loved meeting all of the characters. I'm a big character person. So going from character to character to character to character all day long was so much fun. I loved it. The show was fantastic. Yeah. Um, Really, like, the day just kept getting better and better. Like, it yeah. kept increasing. <laughs> it was so much fun. It was a good day. And as someone who really does love Marvel and dedicated her life to Marvel during COVID, um, this was amazing. Because there were even characters that maybe to me and to other Marvel fans like Kate Bishop aren't, you know, those are characters that we know. We don't think they're, like, considered background characters. But to non-Marvel fans, they might not know who Kate Bishop is or even, like, the Ravagers or things, like, casual watchers. So for me, that was extra cool to see those characters that I know and know about but didn't think Disney would really focus on. So that was really cool. Another thing that I will say that I really loved and enjoyed about this is it reminded me a lot more of Disneyland character meet and greets. So there were some that were stationary that you knew the times when they would be there. But then like Disneyland, there were some characters that roamed. Maybe you saw them, maybe they stopped and took pictures or maybe they just said hi as they were walking by. Uh, it was pretty different than Walt Disney World, but I really enjoyed that. It made it feel more immersive and more like the story was really happening rather than just kind of stationed. Um, sections of the day. So I really enjoyed that part and overall felt pretty marvelous. Oh, yeah. Good one. I've been saving that one all day. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Now go check out our full video on our best day ever over at Disney California Adventure. I'll see you there.